You know, in today's digital world, if you don't know how to do something, or maybe you've got a DIY project you're wanting to get done, well, most of us go to YouTube or someplace online to find out how. It's really become one of the greatest how-to platforms in our time today. Well, one of the greatest how-to books ever written is the book of Proverbs. The book of Proverbs is that book in the Bible that for many people is deeply loved and treasured. In fact, many people will read a proverb a day. There's an undeniable practicality in this book for sound, sensible, and simple answers to many different aspects of life. In it, Solomon reveals the mind of God in matters that are high and lofty and in common, ordinary, everyday situations too. I love the powerful punch they give. Let me give you an example. Proverbs 13, 20 says, keep company with the wise and you will become wise. But if you make friends with stupid people, you'll be ruined. Short, sound, to the point, and oh so true. You know, recently we celebrated the ninth birthday of our daughter Lucy Lynn. And as one of her gifts she received, she got her first big girl Bible. Well, ever since, she's been reading it and reading it. And the other day, Lucy was on the couch reading her Bible and her older sister, Lily, she saw her. So Lily went into her room, grabbed her Bible, and began reading. Now, they're sisters. They're only two years apart, and there's always a little bit of competition at this age. So was Lily reading because she was encouraged by what she saw Lucy doing? Or was she just trying to make sure that Lucy wasn't reading more than she was? I don't know, and honestly, I don't care. Both my daughters were reading the Bible. That's good enough for me. But this scenario, it reminded me of something. Who I surround myself with greatly impacts who and what I become. It's like what Paul said to the church in Corinth, don't be fooled, bad company corrupts good character. You see, in today's digital world, the company we keep, well, it includes the people we're around and all the information and content we take in online. So let me encourage you to surround yourself with the wise, like Solomon says in Proverbs 13. Surround yourself with people who encourage you to follow after the Lord. Set yourself in situations that encourage your growth in the Lord. It's like Solomon says, keep company with the wise and you will become wise. But if you make friends with stupid people, you will be ruined.